The future of the automotive industry will be led by electric vehicles. These vehicles are powered by electricity stored in batteries, so they do not emit exhaust gases. Let's take a close look at how to properly use an environmentally conscious electric vehicle. Let's look at electric vehicle charging and what kinds of charging are available using the Nero EV. Types of EV charging include AC charging and DC charging at public charging stations. And for emergencies, a portable charging cable is provided. For AC charging, you can use the charging cable in the rear storage compartment to connect to a public charger. After the AC charger recognizes your membership card, simply connect the cable to the charger and your vehicle's charging inlet. You can confirm the charging has begun on the instrument cluster or with the charging indicator lamp. You can also check the remaining charging time on your smartphone with the UVO app. Charging the battery to 100% takes around 6 hours and 10 minutes for city type or around 9 hours and 35 minutes for cruise type. You can use DC charging at a public charging station without any additional equipment. Charging the battery to 80% with a 50 kilowatt DC charger takes 57 minutes for city type or 75 minutes for cruise type, while charging to 80% with a 100 kilowatt DC charger takes around 54 minutes for either type. After reaching 80% with DC charging, the remaining 20% is charged with AC charging in order to protect the battery. Repeated use of DC charging may reduce the performance and lifespan of the battery. So it's recommended that you generally use AC charging. To prevent theft of the charging cable while charging, it's best to use the charging connector lock. When the auto button indicator light is off, lock mode is in use and the cable cannot be removed until the connector is unlocked. When the indicator is on, auto mode is in use and the connector will unlock automatically when charging is finished. When using a public charging station, it's best to use auto mode to help the next customer. When the Nero EV's battery is fully charged, it has a driving distance of about 385 kilometers for cruise type and about 246 kilometers for city type. Let's take a look at how to search for a public charging station and additional charging methods. The EV settings menu provides an EV charging station search function. In the EV Route tab, you can search for charging stations nearby. If the situation is urgent and you can't use a charging station, you can use the portable charging cable. Simply connect the cable to a 220 volt outlet, then connect it to your vehicle's charging inlet. You can adjust the charging current on the in-cable control box of the portable charging cable. Press the button on the back of the in-cable control box for at least one second to toggle between 8A, 10A and 12A. Select 12A to charge at 14 to 16 amps, 10A to charge at 12 to 13 amps or 8A to charge at 10 to 11 amps. Charging from a household outlet takes about 31 hours for cruise type or about 19 hours for city type. You will be charged the standard rate for electricity, not the rate for charging electric vehicles, which may lead to excessive costs. Refrain from using the portable charging cable to fully charge your vehicle. In addition, connecting the portable charging cable to an extension cord can lead to excessive heat and risk of fire. Do not connect it to a power strip or extension cord.
Let's learn about scheduled charging and scheduled climate control. Because the cost of charging EVs is different at different times, scheduled charging allows you to pick a less expensive time. In the electric vehicle menu, on the Charge Management tab, select Charging and Climate. After pressing the Scheduled Charging Settings button, you can set a start time and end time for charging. Below the time settings, you can select Off-Peak Time Priority or Charge Only during Off-Peak to choose whether to charge at Off-Peak Times only or at other times as well. After choosing your scheduled charging settings, if you leave AC charging or the portable charging cable connected, scheduled charging will be set. If you press the scheduled charging deactivation button to the left of the driver's seat, within three minutes of connecting a charging cable, you can charge immediately. The climate control system uses power from the high voltage battery, so it's a good idea to use scheduled climate. On the charging and climate tab, Tap the Next Departure Settings button and set a departure day and time. Then press the Back button and select the Scheduled Climate checkbox. You can set your desired temperature for the departure by tapping the Scheduled Climate Settings button. You can also control these features using the UVO app. Let's learn about regenerative braking and one-pedal driving, which can improve energy efficiency. Regenerative braking is a technology that converts the energy created when your vehicle brakes into electricity, charging the battery. The paddle shifters on the steering wheel let you control regenerative braking, allowing you to enjoy better energy efficiency. You can set regenerative braking to levels between 0 and 3. You can check the level on the instrument cluster. Pulling the left paddle shifter increases it one level, causing the vehicle to decelerate more. And pulling the right paddle shifter decreases it one level, causing the vehicle to decelerate less. Pull and hold the right paddle shifter for at least one second to activate or deactivate the smart regeneration system, which automatically changes the level. If you continue to hold the left paddle shifter, you can stop the vehicle. This function is called one pedal driving. One pedal driving uses the maximum level of regenerative braking to create an effect similar to conventional brakes. If you let go of the paddle shifter while your vehicle is traveling 3 km per hour or faster, the system returns to the previously set level. If your vehicle is traveling at under 3 km per hour, the system retains control of stopping the vehicle. While using one pedal driving, you can control where you stop using the accelerator pedal. Let's take a look at the warning indicators related to low battery charge and what to do about them. If the battery charge falls below 8% while you are driving, a warning message is displayed and the battery low level warning light illuminates on the instrument cluster. The remaining charge is only enough to drive 20 to 30 kilometers, so you should visit a nearby charging station. If you are unable to charge the vehicle and the level falls below 3%, not only does a message appear, but the battery low-level warning light and the power-limited warning light both turn on. If the power-limited warning light illuminates, acceleration is limited for safety. Do not accelerate quickly or start moving suddenly. The vehicle may not be able to climb uphill roads, Visit a nearby charging station or use the portable charging cable to charge the battery immediately. Even if the battery goes dead, the vehicle won't stop suddenly. It will gradually decelerate so you don't need to worry about a sudden stop. 
you can keep the auxiliary battery from going dead simply by using 12 volt auxiliary battery saver plus you can turn 12 volt auxiliary battery saver plus on or off in the other tab of the user settings menu this function automatically uses power from the high voltage battery to charge the 12 volt auxiliary battery when it is low on power if you can't disconnect the cable because the battery is dead or there is an electronic malfunction open the hood and pull the emergency release cable then disconnect it Let's look at how to drive your electric vehicle smartly. Select the map in the EV menu to see how far you can drive without recharging. If the battery temperature falls below a certain level in the winter, driving performance and distance may be affected. To prevent this, it's a good idea to use the heating package. The heating package is an optional feature that adds a battery heating system and heat pump to your vehicle. The battery heating system is a system which keeps the battery at an appropriate temperature. You can also increase the driving distance by using the in-vehicle heated seats and steering wheel more than the heater or by avoiding sudden braking and acceleration. Electric vehicles also offer utility mode. Rather than using the 12 volt auxiliary battery, utility mode uses power from the high voltage battery to power various convenience features inside the vehicle. If the vehicle will be parked for a long time, such as while camping, this mode is more efficient when using electrical features such as the lighting or audio. You can also use eco mode. This mode automatically uses regenerative braking to increase vehicle driving distance. Eco and Eco Plus modes have an initial setting of level 2 for regenerative braking, while Normal and Sport modes have an initial setting of level 1. If you tap Coast Energy Regeneration on the screen, you can choose a regenerative braking level between 1 and 3. You can also change drive modes with the Drive Mode button to the right of the dial type shift by wire. Press the button to switch between Normal, Sport and Eco modes in order or long press to select Eco Plus mode. In addition, the Eco Driving menu shows you your CO2 emissions compared to a gasoline vehicle and your energy efficiency while driving. Now you know how to drive an EV smartly. EVs aren't the future anymore, they're now. They're easy for anyone to use. An eco-friendly lifestyle starts here.